Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. Baker, the Music Maker. Today, I'm coming at you with another hot tutorial. This is an iconic hip hop track from 1999 from none other than the OG himself, Dr. Dre, hip hop's biggest mogul, the first billionaire of hip hop. And this song is called Forgot About Dre, one of the hardest intros in hip hop history. Let's hear it. Mm. Yeah, iconic, amazing, incredible, super simple to throw together too. So we're gonna recreate this thing from scratch. Let me press restart. We start with the blank canvas. Let me move this out of the way. Let me move my fat noggin up here. Boom. First thing we gotta do is change the settings. Always change the settings first and make sure the settings are correct. Cause if you change them later, you might have a lot of issues. Go down here to settings, this gear icon. We're gonna change a couple things. We're gonna change split beats into four because we need 16th notes for this one, which we need to divide every single beat into four instead of two. Scale, not major, but chromatic, meaning all the notes, all 12 music notes at our disposal. Those are the only two things you gotta change. Split beats into four, scale chromatic. Then click the blue check, to save your settings. Now you have a lot of little dots and squares. Let's divide this all up. We have four bars, which are separated by white, gray, white, gray. Each of those are divided into four beats. And each beat is divided into four partials called 16th notes. So a bunch of groups of four happen in here, but it divides them all up with thick blue lines and colors of white and gray. Let's get right to it. We're going to build this song from the top down, but I want to change a few other things first. Let's take our tempo up to... 131. There it is. Nope. There it is. 131's a tempo. 131. If you can't drag it to there, double click it, type it in, press enter, and there's your tempo. One other thing I want to change is the sound of the notes, which is not marimba. Um, for this one, I'm going to do strings. Because if you listen to the original track, it starts with some violins and a cool synth bass line underneath. But we're going to make this one strings. So let's build this bad boy. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to start from the top. Work our way down. So above this thick blue line, we're going to stack some notes. We're going to start with an orange and then go all the way up here to a teal. And that's at the very beginning. Then we're going to skip three, do the same. Skip three, do the same. Which, if you notice, are at the beginning of each beat, which are the thick blue lines that split up. So you're going to do that, skip three, that, skip three, that, skip three, that, skip three. And that's the whole first white section. Now we're going to keep that rolling for the gray for the first part and we're going to switch it up a little bit at the end of the gray section so notice there's some weird groupings happening here we have four in the white section we have five in this section so the gray section starts off just the same as the white with the teal and orange skip three teal and orange skip three then we got to split up these groupings a little differently after that the teal and orange followed by two Teal and orange followed by two, teal and orange followed by one. Three plus three plus two equals eight. So we kind of split that up. Let's hear how that sounds so far. Cool. Then it changes up a little bit. We're going to keep it rolling. Make sure your spacing is right and that all your notes are perfectly spaced to make it sound correct. Then we're going to scroll over and do something for this next white section. The, wet, the next white section is exactly the same as the first white section, except you gotta change one note. You're gonna make this one the lighter shade of orange and also teal up top, starting at the beginning of each beat of the white section. Pretty cool. Same thing as the white section we had before, but we changed that shade of orange to that lighter orange, the note right above it. Then we're going to continue and finish it off on the gray section very simply with the original teal and orange. Let me move this. And we're going to repeat that on the beginning of each beat as well with no weird groupings like we had in the first. So simply that, that, and that. And that is the whole entire melody line, which is basically a string ostinato, which is a repeated pattern fancy musical term for a repeated pattern that goes over and over. It's called an ostinato. Let's hear that whole thing. Make sure your spacing is correct. Should sound just like the track.
uh, and then it repeats. That's why it's called an ostinato, very repetitive pattern that draws the listener in. And let's go ahead and make a bass line. So scroll down and above these dots here, you have what's called the bass line, which is below the melody. So anything below this thick blue line, we're gonna plug in here. We're gonna start with a teal, just like we did before. Then we're gonna skip three whole beats. So if you count it up total, that's 11 squares we gotta skip if you wanna count it like that. Then you're gonna put a teal in line with that fourth one on beat four. Then skip one, then put a purple. Then skip one, and at the beginning of the gray, you're gonna put this kind of um, magenta, dark, uh, purplish pink right there. Let's see that. Cool. That's the first part of the bass line. Check that again. Teal, skip 11. Teal, skip one. Purple, skip one. Magenta at the beginning of the gray. Then skip seven. So two beats here. And on the third beat, which is after you skip seven, puts another magenta right there. And that finishes off the bass line for the gray section. Pretty simple. So check that so far. Pretty simple bass line. But now we're ready for that white section. Let's just keep pumping it out. This white section now has a that light shade of orange, same as this one, but one octave down. So in line with that one. And that's actually the whole entire white section there. Pretty simple. This one's pretty easy to throw together. After that, we have the gray section to finish it off, which actually has the normal dark orange, which lines up with that one. And then skip seven like we did before on this gray section but we're going to put a kind of light greenish that's above the teal below the teal this light green right here weird we haven't had that note yet but it's the one right below the teal right there and then that completes the entire bass line let's hear the whole thing so far Then just repeats that over and over. Pretty cool. It's coming together. Now, the intro just starts kind of like that. It doesn't even have drums in the intro. It plays that for a little bit, then the drums kick in. But I'm going to go ahead and throw a pretty cool drum part in here. That's kind of similar to what the track does. So it starts with a circle. Then you're going to skip five. One, two, three, four, five. Then put another circle. Then skip one. Then put a triangle. Let's hear that so far. Cool, let's go ahead and keep that rolling. Once you got that and the spacing's correct, I'm gonna move over to the gray section. You're gonna skip two at the beginning of the gray, put one on the third of the gray. Then you're gonna skip three here, and then put one right there. So we skip two at the beginning of the gray, then one, then skip three, then another circle right there. Then skip one, then put a triangle, which is actually the beginning of beat three. So I have the triangle at the beginning of beat three here. I have a triangle at the beginning of beat three here as well. And that's going to repeat all throughout. Let's hear that. Huh. Pretty cool. Let's add a few more. So I want to put a base in line with that. Another circle in line with that one. And another circle in line with that one. Then a circle at the beginning of the white. Cool. Let's add those bass drum hits right there. Let's hear that. Yeah, ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. pretty cool. That's the whole first half of that drum beat. Let's keep it pumping. The beginning is exactly like the third bar. So bar one, you want you to copy that. So if you see it, it's just like that. Same as we have that white bar. It's the same as that white bar. Pretty cool. Now let's finish it off with this last gray section. It kind of starts the same way as that gray section. So skip two, circle, skip three, circle, Skip one, triangle. And then after you skip one after the triangle, I want you to put circles for the rest of the way, which is a cool little do -do 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 to turn it around back to the beginning. And once you have all that, it should be all pieced together perfectly. Let's hear it. Yeah, excellent. One of the most iconic hip hop intros of all time, in my opinion. 
as soon as it comes on, it just makes you want to bounce your head because it has such a cool, strong beat. Produced by the iconic Dr. Dre featuring Eminem as the second verse. That song came out when I was a kid. Huge, huge part of my... I, I just love hip-hop, and that song has a lot to do with that because that's such a killer track that came out. 1999. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for watching. Recreate it at home. Post a link in the comments. Send more requests. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Your support means the world to me. And I hope to continue making awesome tutorials for you. Keep them coming, y'all. Keep making music. Keep the dream alive. Peace.